This is the Structural Heart and Tavar team from Oklahoma Heart Institute, Dr. Leinbach, the director of the cath lab, Dr. Coleman from cardiac surgery, Dr. Mohammed with interventional cardiology, and Georgian, our valve center coordinator. Uh, today is a very exciting day for us because we just completed Tavar 223, I believe, or something in that range. And uh, just to give you a history, we've been doing TAVAR here at Oklahoma Heart Institute for about four years um, since th that technology was approved by the FDA back in 2011. And um, it was approved initially for patients who were inoperable. That means that they had severe aortic valve stenosis but were felt by a surgeon and a cardiologist to be inoperable. They couldn't have surgery because they were so high risk. Another word is extreme risk. There were extreme risk for surgical aortic valve replacement. And those are the patients on which the device was initially um, tried and it worked fantastic and it was approved for those patients. And so we've come a long way from four years ago to today. The FDA approved transcatheter aortic valve replacement TAVAR for what's called an intermediate risk group. So we've moved from extreme risk to high risk, which was approved a year after uh, extreme risk, now to uh, intermediate risk. We are very excited about the uh, FDA announcement because it now lets the patient decide whether they would like to have a surgical aortic valve or whether they would like to have the less invasive procedure with a stent valve placed in the cath lab. In this case, they don't have to get their chest opened up uh, and they're able to go home in uh, day two or three after the procedure. What led to approval of this was a major clinical trial, one of the largest trials ever done to study a valve in the world, and it showed that transcatheter aortic valve replacement, or TAVAR, in patients who are intermediate risk appeared to do as well or better as those same patients who underwent surgical aortic valve replacement, in that at one year, they appeared to live as long or longer, they had fewer strokes, and they had fewer leaks around their valve. And here we continue to work in a multidisciplinary fashion for the best outcome for each and every patient. And that may mean some patients have surgery and some patients have TAVAR, and we make that decision as a group between cardiologists who specialize in valve disease and surgeons and, um, and, and the patients and their families. As a cardiovascular surgeon, I'd just like to reiterate what uh, both Dr. Leinbach and Dr. Muhammad have said, but to really emphasize that this transcatheter aortic valve replacement offers a great advantage for the patients because it's much less invasive, and the studies clearly show that the uh, complications, stroke, death, are less and uh, the long-term durability at this point looks as though it's going to be very good. So it really is an exciting advantage for the patients.